Hello and welcome. I am Nicole Arrington coming to you from Helena, Montana with Big Sky Cards. And today I have a fabulous card to show you using the uh, Sentimental Swirls set. And I was going to, and it coordinates with, um, oh, I forget this punch's name. This floral punch. And it also, and I also think I'm going to use this this rough crunch. Okay, for some some foliage. Okay, so I'm going to push that aside. I've also used painted labels to cut out the little swirly swirly circle die. Never goes out of style. I'll just state that. So we'll go ahead and get started. I've got a piece of basic white cardstock. That is four or five and a half by eight and a half that we will fold in half. Like so. Ta-da. Um, I then have a piece of Bermuda Bay that is four by four by five and a quarter that I will just glue down. Okay, and then I have the panel piece, pre-cut out, already die cut, but this is a basic white that is three and three quarters by five pre-cut uh, panel that I have already run through my machine to save us some time here to cut out this little die. So I will go ahead and glue this down. And then we'll kind of mosey on. That's for all my little sprigs here. Okay. I'm going to do some stamping in polished pink. And then fresh freesia but let's let's get these pieces going oh goodness like so okay so I want that and I want that one Okay, so I am going to take my stamp, I'm going to stamp it off, I'm going to stamp the image off, and then stamp on there, and I'm going to do it again, except I'm going to do it at this end, because as I noted, um, doesn't line up, okay. And this one's going to be full, full strength, like that. And then, so I got some, some fresh or polished pink. And then I'm going to do this with fresh freesia. I will stamp off both times. Clean those stamps. pretty light. Barely
we see that. But don't worry. My outline, it will be here. Ooh. A little difficult to see. Ta-da! All right. Let me put that fresh freezer away. set over here out of the way ish okay then I can come along punch so like I was saying I I with this punch I have those leaves kind of in the way kind of a little annoying I wonder if this is supposed to go this way Oh, that lines up so much better. That is definitely why I did this. Okay, then let's see. Let's let's move things out of the way a little. And I need a sentiment. All right, so my sentiment, I think I'm going to use from the special moments. And you can get this free during our celebration right now. If you spend $100 or more, I believe. I believe this is a $100 item. But there's just so many good phrases on this that, how could you not? Um, and I think I'm going to use a little high from me as my sentiment tonight. Oh, here we go. Just a little high from me. All right. Clean that off. Well, the stamp block, I only have two stamp blocks. I know, it's a travesty. Actually, I'm going to keep that in place so that but, you know I get it the right way up. And I'm going to stamp with Bermuda Bay. Put it right there. Just a little high for me. And then I thought I would use mint with these colors. Can't I can't decide do I want to fresh freeze or do I want Interesting, interesting. I think that'll work. All right. So, what do I do? What do I do? 
Is that an okay color or should I think I want I want granny apple I'll be right back. All right. Magic granny apple. All right. So we got our little Ooh, maybe we go this way. Got a little green sprig. Got another little green sprig. I don't know if I can get a, a third one out of that little piece. Well, I can't get a full one, but that's okay. Let's see. Let's see how many I think I need. Probably going to want way more. Because I just want them. And probably at least two down there. And four over there. Let's see? Life's so hard and complicated here for sprigs. one down and out of the way but I think I like that so I will go ahead and start gluing things down going to do the flowers last because I think I'm going to curl the petals. And then I'm just going to take my little bone folder, curl, 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 curl. Oh, you know what might make this even more amazing? Because have to forgive me, I'm going to have to go grab some cardstock. Because I think. I think each of these flowers need, they need their color behind them, backing them. All right. So, let's see, what do I got? I'm looking for my fresh freesia. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. Got to cut some scarred stock. All right. I need approximately one inch. There's one. Polished pink. Well, somebody didn't line that up very well. Okay. And pink, purple. Purple. Okay. Where'd my pink go? All right, and then I will bone fold, bone fold, just to give the flower a little bit more. So we'll go like that. Isn't that so pretty? All right, curl, curl. I think this is so cool to curl your little flowers. I'm obviously, uh, ready for some spring flowers because I am into flower making cards right now. All right. So I will go ahead, finish this up. I'm gonna glue that down. Who wouldn't do that? Seems crazy. But look at that. All right, oh, gotta get all those little scraps out of the way. Jeez. And then I think I need, I need just a little, a little something. Okay. Oh, want some little pearls be beautiful? So I, We'll take the little silver pearls. And stuff them on. Look at that. Okay, so this is the metallic pearls and I took the silver ones and just pushed them in. Doesn't that just make a beautiful card? I just love the idea. Um, I also think I faffed around a lot with this card. This card did not take this long, I don't think. It was just because I wasn't totally prepared in my mind for everything. So we were moving around, changing things up. So there we go. Uh, that's what I have to say. I'm sticking to that story. I'd like to thank you so much for watching this video. If you would like any of the items I have demonstrated for you here today, please shop my online store. That link I have provided below. Um, as well as, I would love to see thumbs up. If you could give me thumbs up, that would be great. And in addition, I absolutely truly love seeing comments, so please feel free to leave comments. Um, in addition to all of that, if you have any questions, you can put those into the comment section and or else you can email me at bigskycardsnicole at gmail.com. I have provided that below. And thirdly, 
you could check out my website, BigSkyCards.com, where you could go and buy said card as a card kit. You would get a set of four of these cards that you would put together, and everything comes in it. Everything's cut, punched, stamped, die cut. Um, it also even includes pop-ups, et cetera, et cetera. And so all you have to do is provide your own glue. Sometimes you have to use your own scissors as well with the occasional coloring. But that would be stated. But in this case, there would be nothing but your own glue. Um, I use stamping up glue, liquid glue, in a fine tip bottle. And that is everything you need to put together most of these card kits. So... That was BigSkyCards.com. Thank you so much for watching and happy stamping. Bye.